All right, right now we are downtown Muskegon, Michigan. And in this video, we're gonna be going over the pros and cons of living in Muskegon. And it's coming up right now. For things to do and sites to see, you are now watching Live Great TV and I'm your official host of Living Great in Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. My name is Vaughn Greathouse. And I'm Adam Berksma. And today we are downtown Muskegon. We're gonna be going over the pros and cons of living in Muskegon. If you wanna know more about the Grand Rapids area and what it's like to live, work, and have fun in West Michigan, make sure you hit that subscribe button, punch that notification bell, hit the like button, so you don't miss out on all the brand new videos that we be putting out each and every week because we love making these videos for you. But even more than that, as a licensed real estate agent in the state of Michigan, as a licensed mortgage broker, we wanna help you make that transition over to the West Michigan area. So contact us below in the description to set a booking call so we can get a hold of you anytime. And with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, so we are downtown Muskegon, and actually we drove around. We're from the West Michigan area, but we're yeah. from the Grand Rapids area, so we don't get out here a ton. So we want to give you the pros and cons based on what we found online and also from some of the locals yeah. and even in some of the forums as what you can expect to living in Muskegon. And what do you think? Muskegon's a good area. It, it, it definitely has its, its pros and cons just like any other city does. Yeah. Um, just to give you a little reference too for where we're at, from Grand Rapids, it's directly, what, northwest? Definitely northwest. Uh, about 40, 45 minutes uh, right on the water, Lake Michigan. The affordability here, the cost of living, I would say a big pro in this area just because it is relatively inexpensive yeah. to be able to afford a house down here because you're looking for a first time house especially. I think the median price is around 159, $159,000, yeah. $159, which is a great you know, average price for a first time home buyer especially. Absolutely. Um, cost of living isn't too expensive, which kind of goes into other things too with the affordability and the pros and cons of the city in general. So one thing I definitely know about the Muskegon area in general is that there are very very nice locations in regards sure. to living on the lake. The lake life out here is a huge bonus to being in the area, yeah. knowing that you literally can have a low cost property that will end up in the long run yeah. being something that you really enjoy. There's some amazing homes and neighborhoods, you know, communities in Muskegon, mm -hmm. you know. There are obviously the not so amazing ones as well, but that's in any city. Any city. Right? That's the thing, you know, when it comes to being in the Muskegon area, a lot of people feel a certain way in West Michigan. And a good thing about yeah. what's happening here is like even behind us, we're currently right behind the yeah. Mercy Health uh, Arena and also, which is right kitty corner to the Van Dyke Mortgage Convention Center. And these are brand new buildings. There's a yeah. ton of money. I even read at one point, there was all like $800 million, some crazy number yeah. of money that's getting ready to go into the city. Even uh, there's a $6 million investors that are putting $6 million into affordable housing mm -hmm. to help people getting to nicer homes. So if you're looking for that up and coming city that is low barrier to entry as far yeah. as cost, low cost of living. Another thing I wanted to point out is just even in the area, there's not a huge commute to the area. There's yeah, not a lot of bad traffic. It's a, and it's nice, that's a huge pro in terms of the size of it. it's not a huge city, right? It's, right. it's not, it, but it's populated pretty well. Yeah. But that's the nice part about commuting. It's really easy to get around everywhere. It's not a large distance to travel. Mm -hmm. And the downtown area is definitely up and so coming. So nice. It's really nice. They have local shops and breweries and restaurants all down the strip here. And it's just really big upgrades they've been making. Yeah, I like the downtown. Like as far as like being an up and coming city, it's the downtown, which is really nice in regards to like Grand Haven, because mm -hmm. Muskegon sits north of Grand Haven, yep. in between Norton Shores and Grand Haven Spring Lake area. It's right on the river. It's right on Muskegon Lake. So yeah. it's right on near Lake Michigan. There's a lot of water life down here. So if you're yeah. thinking of, uh, yeah, I want a, a lake house, or I want a house where I can put a boat on it. Yep. This is definitely an area to check out so you can, you know, long term as an up and coming city, you can have your stake, you know, you can yeah. have your position uh, that's out here. And there's a lot to do out here too in terms of 
It was like talking about the lake life, mm -hmm. living on Muskegon Lake and on Lake Michigan. Fishing, boating is huge. There's a ton of marinas here. People drop their boats in all the time. Kayaking, you can go tubing down yeah. the river. I mean, there's campgrounds everywhere. Go hiking on the dunes. It's, it's beautiful yeah. summer life for sure. Yeah, and not to forget to mention that they have three state parks in Muskegon. You have yeah. the PJ Hoffmaster, you got the Muskegon State Park, and I forget the other one, but there's a, there's a lot of lake life in here, and during the summer, it's thriving, it's busy. The downtown, some of the bars and restaurants are up and coming. Mm -hmm. They even have some of the restaurants with those igloos. Have you ever been yeah. in one of those yeah, igloos? Yeah, those are cool. It's hit and miss, because sometimes <laughs> it's really cold in there, and sometimes it's hot. But... They need to pump those heaters up. Yeah. The thing about Muskegon that I'm really enjoying is the fact that it is up and coming. Yeah. And it's turning around, and the city is, a lot of people are just, they're tapped into it. Anyone who's coming to West Michigan kind of mm -hmm. has has their eye on Muskegon in the back of their mind because a lot of the homes are lower barrier to entry. You can go in and fix those homes up, rent them out. I get a lot of investors who are like, hey, I want a duplex or I want to build out there. So that's yeah. a huge, huge, huge perk when it comes to the Muskegon area. And one of the things that I noticed just from being in West Michigan and hearing you know, chatter between people who know about the city, know about West Michigan in general, mm -hmm. I can't talk about Muskegon because I want to get right into it and I must be careful speaking about it is something that in regards to crime yeah. people talk about it all the time like you know oh there's a lot of crime in Muskegon and that's to be determined by the person who's making that decision so yeah when you go online as I was looking up some of the things in the Muskegon area that came up a lot so I just want to call out the pink elephant so it's something to look out for if that's what you're looking for so Technically, checking into the area, no matter where you move in the West Michigan area, find out what's gonna best suit you, mm -hmm. and then make your decision based off of that. Yeah, so it's kind of circling back around to the, the crime rates. The poverty rate here is higher than the national average. Okay. I think that obviously has to do with playing in with employment and lower paying jobs. Okay. But the poverty rate here is roughly about 25%, according to city statistics, and that's on a national average, poverty rates typically around, for a city, is about 10 to 12. So it's a little over double yeah. wow. um, than the national average, which kind of plays into that crime rate statistic we we're yeah. talking about and, yeah. and why that is in the area. And the lower housing, affordable housing, mm -hmm. all ties in with each other, yeah. you know, why is it more affordable to live here type of thing. Straying away from that, again, there are definitely those areas in this area, in Muskegon, that are amazing to live in. Yeah. I don't want to focus on that and have that be a deterrent for anybody, but it is a statistic that yeah. we need to share because yeah. it's, it's part of the city. But obviously, there are other places in the city that are absolutely amazing. And, that, and that's the thing about this channel. We keep it real, we yeah. shoot it to you straight. And you know, even as we're driving in, you get, you get to certain areas that you have those. This was a thriving place back in the 60s and 70s. It was booming. Yeah. And even at one point in time, you know, Adam During was like, the, the timber era yeah. industry. It, the most millionaires lived in this city than in any city in the U.S. That's during amazing. that tim timber era industry. Yeah. So there's a lot of history, a lot of culture to the city, and so now they're trying to circle back around with that. But you can't help but notice some of the houses that are deteriorated over time that yeah. might have been nice in the 60s and 70s. Industrial sites that are kind of an eyesore, you know, when you're driving out that you'll notice uh, when you come out here because they're just abandoned buildings and whatnot. Yeah. But the fact that people are paying attention to this area's low cost of living and with the rates of homes being higher than ever, yeah. people are coming to the city and making this something that they really want to be yeah. in. Up and coming. Up and coming. So that's something to look out for when you're in the area. Uh, one thing I don't want to forget to talk about as well is if you don't hear it behind us, is going to be the lack of mass transit. Now they have the Mets bus, which is you know driving around through the downtown area. Mm -hmm. There's not a huge public transportation in regards no. to people getting from work and whatnot. There's not a huge job market like Adam was just mentioning. So, you know, given that those public transportation, that's an opportunity. So if you're an investor watching this, mm -hmm. you got public transportation, you know, this might be one of place you, you know, might be a place that you want to keep your eye on in regards to that. A lot of people commute to their job in Holland or Grand yeah. Haven or Grand Rapids. Yeah. Yep, yep. And in this place, it's, it's a draw. A lot of people have their eye on the Muskegon area. Yep, yep, definitely. A lot of people have their eye on the Muskegon area, but in the sense of a national, view, switching gears a little bit when it comes to national events like concerts and everything. A big con is that 
National concerts miss Muskegon. Wow. They will not come here. It's not big enough. They don't, I don't even think they have a venue big enough to yeah. be able to put on a national concert. So stuff like that always happens in Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids is, is the main hub for those types of concerts. Yeah. The Van Handel Arena uh, is what puts on everything. That's a little bit of a con. You do have to commute there, which again, 40, 45 minute drive to Grand yeah. Rapids. Super easy, it's all yeah. highway, so it's quick. But that's just another thing we wanted to bring up. Yeah. That it being a small city, they don't, they don't get the big concerts or events like that. Mm -hmm. And just so you have a comparative idea, it's relatively close in size to Holland. As mm -hmm. far as the population, there's about 38, 39,000 people yeah. in the area, but at the same time, it hasn't blown up to the altitude that Grand Rapids has, but that's the beauty of it because they're pouring so much money into the city you have an opportunity to invest here and I was talking to another investor in the area and he's bought up like 10 or 12 houses, rented them out, fixed them up and so he's, you know, planning on having yeah. some gold mine and I hope he does, yeah. you know, down the line. The values will go up. Values will go up just because that the high prices of homes are going up and now you're in a position where you got, I mean, you, people are looking at areas like this. So just wanted to put that in your ear. Yeah. You yep. know, this is, it's been a great experience coming out here, checking out the. Definitely. And if you guys have other fun facts about Muskegon that you know yeah. or that we missed or maybe said a little bit twisted, let us know. Comment below. We'd love to learn more about the area and uh, all the West Michigan areas is, is what we're trying to build up and put some videos and content out for you guys to learn more and we want to learn more too. I appreciate all the comments that, that you guys have. I don't know everything. I don't hit all the points. However, with your help, helping others, you know, to get out here and make that transition smooth so they're aware of the facts when they get here. Yeah. That's what we're all about. Yep. Exactly. All right, that's it. Those are the pros and cons of living in the Muskegon area. Again, for things to do in sight to see, this is Live Great TV. And I'm your official host to Live in Great Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. My name is Vaughn Greathouse. And I'm Adam Berksma. That's right. If you want to know more about the Grand Rapids area and what it's like to live, work, and have fun in West Michigan, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, slap that notification bell so you won't miss out on all the brand new videos that we put out each and every week because we love doing these videos, coming yeah. out to these places, checking them out. Definitely. But more than that, as a licensed real estate agent in the state of Michigan, as a licensed mortgage broker in Michigan, we love helping you make that transition smooth. So our information's below. Get a hold of us, set an appointment. We'll be glad to talk to you. And with that being said, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot, guys.